Hey everybody out there. So today for you guys I want to talk about a topic that I kind of talked about a little bit and I said um, in my, you know, there are no longer any rares in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! main sets. I said we're probably going to get some more information forthcoming, you know, this coming week. And, um, well, lo and behold, we got more information forthcoming, didn't we? Um, now I'm going to read over the Ar Konami article if you haven't seen it already. And then I wanted to discuss about it a little bit. Because it's really interesting. There's a lot of things that are going to be changing come the next competitive season in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is really interesting, I think. And definitely needs some discussion. I don't like doing a lot of, you know, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! news. But there's been so much going on ever since the updated Master Rules uh, came out at the end of last month. That it's been a whirlwind of just really game-changing things. And I definitely think they need to be talked about and discussed about. So let's read over the Konami article here briefly. A new rarity gets its name and an old one retires. We're getting information from Europe and therefore can't confirm that this will apply elsewhere at the time. That is very important. This is just coming from the European Konami TCG team. About some pretty big changes starting with Eternity Code, which is coming out in September or August of 2020. Next, with Electronic Code regarding rares, the cards with no foil artwork but silver foil lettering on their names has been retired. Similarly, to Speed Duel booster sets, you will no longer receive these in your booster packs. There are additional Super, Ultra, and Secret Rare cards in these sets that will be distributed flat instead. I don't know exactly what that means, but they, they mentioned that. Uh, in the article, so yeah, there are additional super, ultra, and secret rare cards in the sets that will be distributed distributed flat instead. Our cards will be eventually evenly. This is very important. All cards will be evenly distributed, which means no short prints or under short printed foils in main sets for 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 that no, foils. Starlight Rares will be bumped up from 4 to 5 cards per set. Starlight Rares, if you guys don't know, this is interesting. This is what we've been calling Prismatic Secret Rares. Those high expensive cards from core, you know, main boxes. They're going to have an official name right now of Starlight Rare. And they're going to be a little bit more easier to get, apparently. Uh, it is not yet known to do... Rares are not gone indefinitely, but there are no longer current prints to bring them back just the possibility of their possible existence. Um, so for main sets, we know we're not getting rares anymore. Um, the other things that are very interesting here is the fact that pre-releases um, are no longer going to be a thing. So sneak peeks are gone. Instead, they're replaced with starting with Eternity Code with pre-release events in which you get to buy a promo cards. Promo cards. It says cards, mind you, which more pos uh, which are more playable quote-unquote, in phraseology use. So apparently they're supposed to be more playable. We don't know what that means. With the, visit of, uh, with the visit of this event, you get the right to purchase one box of the set. The rest of the event will be open to dueling. Special editions will be discontinued with Eternity Cold. Ignistor Sart Assault, which is the one we're getting in May, will be the final special edition production. A new product will be placed in the future. More information will come later on this. Another important announcement. There's a lot of important announcements here. Rush duels will no longer be will not be introduced to the TCG. For now, they remain exclusively in Japan. Rush duels are presently considered the OCG's equivalent to speed duels. Alrighty, so there's a lot to take in there, and I just wanted to go over that. So first things first. Konami announces that they're no longer going to do short prints in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, it does state this, and it's important to keep this in mind, it just says for Europe. And if we've recognized um, from the last two hero sets, uh, the last two, um, you know, sets that we had, what, uh, the Dark Heroes, I forget the name of that one, and then the Magic, you know, the one where we have the Dark Magician and the regular Elemental Heroes, stuff of that nature. Magician's Soul is what I'm trying to say. You'll notice in these sets that the European prints have kind of flooded the market, especially for the original set with Dark Bane and, uh, you know, Gold. Because the European prints, they were evenly distributed. 
And we've seen this, especially just even recently, with you know, Eternal uh, Magician's Eternal Soul, um, not Eternal Soul, Magician's Soul, excuse me, where in Europe it was evenly distributed, but over here in the TCG it is short printed. So if that continues, if this is not worldwide, as some people are wondering, because it does state this is just for European, the European TCG is saying we are not going to short print cards. North America hasn't said anything. And we've seen, even recently, they've short printed cards. Um, and this is mainly saying they're not going to short print cards out of main sets, so we don't know about side sets and how that's going to pertain yet. But if there's one thing I've noticed, the European TCG takes care of its players much better than the North American TCG. And if the European TCG doesn't short print cards, and North America does, you're going to see an influx of European cards coming over to the TCG from people going over to Europe and buying stuff when they go over there for events. It's going to happen. It sucks. This is this. <laughs> that's not cool, like at all. <laughs> that the Europeans like, oh, we're not going to short print. T North America is like, we're going to short print. That's not cool. Uh, hopefully. North America TCG says something, but European TCG has announced they are no longer going to short, short print cards out of main core sets. Second thing, sneak peeks are gone. All right, um, let's talk about this. Sneak peeks have been around for a long time. I remember the first sneak peek I went to, I think it was like Flaming Eternity. It, it was ages ago, like a long time ago. You're probably like, what's Flaming Eternity? Uh, well, for you guys that don't know, about that set. That was the set with Sacred Phoenix of Neftis. That came out in the GX era, like the beginning of the GX era, end of the original Yu-Gi-Oh era. That's a long time ago. Some of you guys were probably not even born yet. Because mm -hmm. that was like 2000 what? 2004, 2003? I was 13. Yeah, you may be feeling very young or very old right now. <laughs> but apparently they're going to be replaced and, and we don't know if this is going to happen in the North America, but for Europe, you're going to have something different. Uh, and it says playable cards, quote unquote. We don't know what that means. We don't know what type of cards these are. I don't know. But the cool thing is they're doing what Magic the Gathering already does and taking a playbook out of it where you get to buy a booster box the night, the day of the sneak peek. Or in this case, as they're calling it, the... Um, what are they calling it now? Pre-release events, quote unquote. So at these pre-release events, you're about able to buy a box now. That's cool. I think that's going to open up a lot of things here to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I like that they're taking that play out of Magic the Gathering. That's something I've always liked about Magic. Uh, from working at a card store before, that was something I really wish Yu-Gi-Oh had done. And I'm happy they're doing this, actually. That's, that's really good. Instead of getting your five packs, you can buy a box. Um, and you get these cards apparently. I don't know if this is going to happen for the TCG, but for, you know, in North America, but this is happening in Europe. Also, special editions are no longer going to be a thing in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Special editions have changed different things over time. We had special editions, alright? Then we had these special editions that had supers from the core sets in them. That was a bust, like, horrible. like. If you look at super uh, super rare prices, even from those sets today, they suck. Then they came out with these bundles that were like $30, and you get a pack of bad sleeves, uh, some promo cards, and then you got like, I think 20 packs, something like that, like 10 packs. And they were cool and everything, but I don't think they were amazing. Those sleeves really were horrible. Like, no one used them unless you were using it to sleeve cards to put in a binder. And even then, I, I wouldn't trust them. They, they were like paper thin. Um, so saying that, um, I'm hoping they don't do something like that. Uh, I'm interested to see what they're going to be, but we'll probably get some more information about this later on, and we'll do another video about it. And lastly, the last thing I want to talk about here is Rush Duels. So as of right now, this is very interesting because we've never been at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history where the anime is different from the main card game, if you know what I'm trying to say. Throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history, for the 20 years it's been around in Japan and almost like 18 here, anime, card game, are one thing. One thing. 
now it's two separate things because you have anime rush duels together and you have other Yu-Gi-Oh game over here the main one the one that we all know and love over here now I thought what was going to happen it was the speed duels was going to die but that's not going to happen instead what you have is anime rush duels regular Yu-Gi-Oh over in Japan uh, regular Yu-Gi-Oh and speed duels over here like I guess like are we even going to get an anime for regular Yu-Gi-Oh anymore I, I, I guess not that's really odd I mean maybe that's just I mean I think it's I think it's okay but like it feels very odd to not have the anime and Yu-Gi-Oh together for the first time in so long very interesting very odd but um you know, we're going to have to see how that develops because I don't know what to say about that. Um, and I do want to apologize for any of these translation errors because this was written by a, actually a very good Yugi tuber who I actually watch some good content of who's in German because I actually can speak a little bit. I, I can't speak German, but I can understand German. I took German classes uh, three years in high school uh, from Ryu Brian uh, from Germany. So shout outs to him for giving this information that he got from Konami European Europe. Um, also, they announced that Starlight Rares would be you know, Prismatic Rares, but that's a topic for the different day. I think the main cool, uh, cool things to talk about here are, A, Konami of Europe says no more short prints in Europe. Sneak peeks are no longer sneak peeks. You can buy boxes at events. And also, special editions are no longer going to be a thing. There's going to be something else. Um, that's a lot of changes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of big like I, I read that article and I was like oh it's gonna be one thing and I'm like oh 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 like so many <laughs> 2020 is the year of the shakeup for Yu-Gi-Oh isn't it it's like wow like okay but the short print thing I think is the lot the one thing a lot of people over in the North America are looking at because they're saying uh, Konami of uh, North America department um yeah, we know you've been short and printing things for quite some time, but Europe says they're not going to. What are you going to do? I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see because I, I, short prints and side sets are somewhat understandable to sell the set, but in core sets, it should not be a thing at all. Um, it, if it is, it, it's not healthy for the game. And the fact that when you see people going over to Europe where they're not short printing stuff and bringing it over that tells you there's a problem that tells you there's a big problem um, but uh, hopefully everything works out this is really good to see Konami of Europe taking care of the player base over in Europe hopefully North America or follow suit soon um, but yeah tell me your thoughts down below about these changes you know no more special editions how they're changing sneak peeks up to buying boxes and getting these special cards, quote unquote, and also about Konami addressing short prints for the first time in a long time. Uh, tell me your thoughts down below. Until next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Take care, everybody.